reasons why a boko would curse a clan. First and foremost, we have to understand that bokos don't have the best reputation in Haitian culture. It is a word that you don't even mention. So, it is something that a person has to keep in the back of their mind. You sign up for whatever you get when you deal with a boko. Sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's not that pleasant. Well, first and foremost, you have to be careful with who you deal with. Because some Bokos play dirty. A lot of them do. When it comes to money, there are some Bokos that are greedy. They see that you spend. And unlike a lot of people that you find in America, they play on your fear and there's nothing behind it. They'll say, oh, this is going to happen to you and you don't see nothing if you give it time. The ball call is different. The ball call will, some, I'm not saying all, some will actually curse you and tell you, hey, this law said you got to do this. This law said you got to do that. Now you're seeing all this shit happening around you. What else is there to believe? I need fucking help. Remove this shit from me. And this spirals you into a web of extortion. We are constantly paying. Just like in prison or jail. You fresh meat, you enter in there. Now they have one of their henchmen to do something to you. And now they come at you. Hey man, you need protection. You know, see, you know, all behind the scenes, they're the one who plot the whole thing. They send one of their guys to come fuck you up. And then, you know, yeah. So now you feel like, oh shit, I gotta pay for protection. So, that's number one, greed. Number two can be disrespect. You go to a ball call and, you know, Things are not moving at the pace that you wanted to move in. So, you get very hostile. Oh, you fucking ripoff. You're a scammer. You know, you, you know, you, I should have never came to you. You're, you know, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're a liar, this and that. Well, you watch my video, so you feel that you can do this. No, you can't. You're out of pocket. For me, I got the juice. I know if I say something about somebody, I got the power to do that. Because I know my team stands strong. And when we put something in motion, it's going to happen. Now, if you ain't got nothing like that, you're wet behind the ears, and you're green to this lifestyle, I recommend that you sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. And sometimes it's better to chalk shit up to the game and leave in peace. Because you really don't want those problems. And I'm not saying that to condone this type of behavior. I'm just spitting the real. If you Haitians watch the movie by AKA Baby Love, Godnel Latsis, you watch the movie My Club. This is something that's glamorized in a lot of Haitian movies where the person that goes to the Uga Makute, whatever, Mambo or whatever to pay them for their service to do bodily harm to someone like in my blood. This lady paid the Wonga to curse the mistress of her husband to die. And she got impatient. So she went to the Wonga's house and knocked over his altars and cursed at him. The Wonga summons Kafu and she ends, you know, she ends up dying at the end of the movie. This is a reality that happens all the time in Haitian culture. Number three, the worst thing you can get involved in is being in debt to a boko. Because unlike us living in America, we have to monitor how we speak to American citizens. 
in Haitian culture is different because they will tell you once you enter into that person's habitation, they will tell you if you do not pay me my money, I will personally fuck you and your family up. They will tell you that. Some people take it as a joke, and this until we stand a line. Or months down the line, the wife ends up with cancer. The daughter ends up with an irreversible heart condition. That's when they realize that Boko was not playing with them. 